What's this? What's that? Whoa. Oh, it's a little seahorse. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Looks like a seahorse. That's um, so crazy. Oh, how long has that been in there? Whoa. It looks kind of Native American like. Like, look at the face. Oh my gosh, check it out. This is wicked. Oh, you looked it up? Yeah. It's called a puff ball mushroom? I, seriously, I, I am not freaking kidding you. Every day is a new day. We learn so much on this land. Should we pick it? Right there. What? The caterpillar. Oh, I don't know. Should you pick it? Hi, little guy. I gotta tell you, you gotta teach your children about nature. Oh my gosh! We are so gonna have to look this up. All right guys, well, Wow, that was quite an experience there with the mushrooms. This is phase three filming for our duck pond. We changed our plan a little bit. As I said in the last video of phase two, we were gonna do a pond over here, make it out of tile, kind of a bathtub kind of thing with brick, a little sauna, hot tub, but now, ooh, what do we got? For the garden box? Oh, oh, a worm for the garden box. There is life everywhere on this homestead. So it's upside down. Water pond is going to go? That's our, our duck pond. Lots of worms. <laughs> I mean, look it. It doesn't look like a toy. That is... Okay, this is crazy. We're going to have to wash this off. So, I've told you in previous videos, we've got like... Native American spiritual energy here. This is so amazing. You know, I used to teach my kids in elementary, the girls, we had a study, the story uh, yeah. of the world. So there's a very popular homeschool curriculum called the story of the world. And it literally, you know, starts off, it's for children, uh, ages five to ten very interesting teaches them that you can find things in your backyard and it's going to give you history of what used to be there hundreds of years ago and guess what we have this right now to look up i am so excited i think we might need to soak it we're letting the chickens free range we are supervising them oh and i have good news we are gonna be visiting a farm that we found a couple silky chickens that we've been looking for. It's a type of chicken. And there's also one called a show girl. And OMG, so they're not sex, so it actually might not be a show girl. It might be a show boy. <laughs> but I'll be doing a video on that too, to add to our flock, these fun silky and show girl chickens. We're gonna let this bad boy soak. I am so excited to see what in the world this is. No, but why would it be in there? In the ground over there. If this was like where cattle roam, how did it get over there? We could have just found like something very valuable. It almost looks like an elephant, for God's sake. Doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's got, and it's got the pink and the green, which I love pink and green. 
And it's got purple. It'll be interesting to see what Opa says. Mm -hmm. This, is, okay, I am not flipping kidding you. This is like freaking, it does look Native American almost. This is flipping nuts. Like the way it's closely bent down in the marks. Well, it's just, it's like a symbol of something. This is not just a seahorse. This is like an elephant seahorse. <laughs> This is the side that has a darker pink. There's the eye. Goes down. And then this side is a little bit lighter in pink. And that eye, it really caught my attention. It reminded me of a papaya seed. It's very like real looking. Like it's looking at you. Down this way. On to the back. We've got the head. There's the line. Makes it look like you can open it. But this whole thing is like porcelain.